I think that there's a lot of satisfaction to be gained from being able to take the three-dimensional world and translate it into a two-dimensional surface. You're flattening out space, but you're taking these really simple things like a line or a shape or a value, and you can create this illusion of space on a flat surface, and you can create a whole other world. And there's really nothing that can replace that. I'm Lucy Barber, and I'm really excited to be here to teach value shading in drawing. Perceiving the real three-dimensional world is very different the, from the eyes and the brain than a camera or you know your iPhone. You as an artist using pencil or paint, you can have control over your materials in a different way. And that's why I really believe in working from observation rather than going from photographs. And if a student wants to work powerfully from photographs, I say learn how to draw from observation first and then you've got that experience that you can pull in working from a photograph because there's a whole lot of information out there that you can't capture in just one shot or even several shots. In this class, what we are going to be looking at is learning to recognize the subtleties from light to shadow to dark shadows and to blacks and how to use materials and manipulate materials to create those effects. I'm going to also show you how light affects objects in space and how we perceive light and how we can manipulate the light and then what we can do to create consistency in how we perceive light, dark, highlights, shadows, etc. You may have learned some basics in shading and drawing. We're going to be going a little bit further. I'm really excited to start with our first project, so let's get started. <laughs> 